In today's lecture, we will understand classful addressing with the help of Cisco Packet Tracer activity. Before moving into the Cisco Packet Tracer activity, let's just quickly run through what are the various classes of IPv4 addresses. Basically, we have five classes of IPv4 addresses in classful world, class A, B, C, D and E. Each class has its own first octet range and each class has its own subnet mask. To be precise, class A has its own default mask which is 255.0.0.0 and class B has 255.255.0.0 as its default subnet mask and class C it is 255.255.255.0 and we have a number of possible networks and hosts per network. In a single network, we will have a large number of hosts when we go for class A and we have a limited network whereas class B has moderate number of networks and moderate number of hosts per network. Coming to class C, we have more networks wherein each network has only limited number of hosts and in all the cases, we will be subtracting two from the number of hosts. Why? The first address and the last address in that network will not be usable. The first address is the network address and the last address is the broadcast address. Let's now move on to the Cisco Packet Tracer activity to understand classful addressing in a practical way. Cisco Packet Tracer is before us. What I am going to do is, I am going to bring a switch. I am preferring Cisco 2960 switch, so I am just clicking on the switch and bringing the switch here. In order to demonstrate classful addressing, I am bringing 5 computers. So I am just bringing 5 computers. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and then I will choose the automatic connection. The Ethernet straight through cable is required in order to connect a PC and a switch. So I am just choosing the automatic connection. This automatic connection will use the Ethernet straight through cable. For demonstrating class A, I will choose the IP address that starts with 10 because in class A the first octet will be between 0 and 127. So I will choose 10. So let me open this PC, going to the IP configuration, I am choosing 10.0.0.1 and I am going to use the default subnet mask which is 255.0.0.0 for class A. If we observe, we cannot use 10.0.0.0 in class A because this is the starting IP address in this network. So 10.0.0.0 is an invalid IP address for the host. So that IP address is the network address which cannot be used for the host. Similarly, when I go for the class A which is starting with 10, the last IP address will be 255.255.255, right? We know in any network the last IP address is the broadcast address. So this is also an invalid IP address for the host. So I can use other IP address which is a very big network in this case. So let me use the next IP address. So which is 10.0.0.1. I am going to use the default subnet mask which is 255.0.0.0. So for the second computer, I am going to give the IP address which is 10.0.0.2. And for the third computer, I am going to give 10.0.0.3. So just observe, I am giving 10.0.0.3. So the default mask is going to be this. And I am going to give 10.0.0.4 for the fourth computer and 10.0.0.5 for the fifth computer. So this is the last computer in this network. So I am giving 10.0.0.5. So that's it, I have assigned IP address. Let's just send a packet from PC1 to PC4. So we know it will be successful. So we are able to reach this computer from this computer. So all computers will be reachable now because they are all belonging to the same network. Let me make some changes in PC number 5. So I am going to fifth PC, even if I give the IP address as 10.255.255.254, even this IP address is a valid IP address in this subnet. I will just send a packet from this PC to this PC. It is still successful only. Why? Because they are all belonging to the same network. So only the first octet should match in this case, right? Because we are choosing class A. So any IP address that starts with 10 will be belonging to this network. Is it not? It doesn't care about the remaining 3 octets. So this is what a class A IP address is. So such a very big network class A is. What I will do is, I will go to this PC and I will change the IP as 20.5.5.7. This IP address is also class A IP address only. 
but this computer will not be able to contact other computers. Just see, I am trying to contact this computer with this computer. We know this computer is belonging to the network that is starting with IP address 10, whereas this computer which is starting with IP address 20. These two computers are not belonging to the same network. Why? The subnet mask says that the first octet must be same. In this case, the first octet in the IP address is not the same. So, these two computers are not belonging to the same network and that's why we are getting failed status. So, these two computers cannot contact with each other with the help of a switch, that is with the help of a local area network device. In order to make the communication that is possible between the network that is starting with 10 and the network that is starting with 20, we need a router in order to do this activity. I will just make this PC belonging to the same network which is 10.0.0.4. Now the communication is possible. Just see, from any PC we will be able to contact this PC. It is successful. I will demonstrate class C now. The class C subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So what I am going to do is, I am going to change the default subnet mask for all the PCs to be in class C. So now all the PCs are in class C. If you observe, I am doing the modification for the last PC. Even after changing this class A to class C, the communication is still possible. Why? Because though we change the subnet mask, we can notice that the first three octets should match, right? In this case, all the computers are starting with the IP address 10.0.0, right? And it doesn't care about the fourth octet because the fourth octet is the host portion. So, fourth octet will not be taken into account and this fourth octet is mainly for the host portion. And this is a very small network, a maximum of 254 computers only is possible. Say, I can't use 10.0.0.0 here. Why? Because 10.0.0.0 is the first IP address of this network. But other IP addresses are still possible in this case. So, I am bringing back to its original state. So, this is what the IP that I have assigned for the first PC. For demonstration, I will try to check pinging the second PC and the fourth PC. There are many ways to do this. I am going to PC2 and issuing the command ping 10.0.0.4. This is the second PC that is the source computer and trying to reach the fourth computer. So, communication is possible. We are getting replies, right? So, what I am going to do is, I am going to the fourth PC. I am going to change the third octet to be 10. Now, is the communication possible? I will do the same operation now. Is the communication possible? No. Why? The subnet mask we have used is class C. In class C, how many octets should match in order to know whether they are belonging to the same network or different network? The three octets should match. In this case, this computer says three octets should match if other computers are belonging to my network. In this case, it should start with 10.0.0. Only then they belong to this network. If you observe, the fourth PC is not 10.0.0, it is 10.0.10. .10. So obviously, they are not belonging to the same network. And that's it about the classful addressing. I hope now you are able to understand the classful addressing with the help of subnet mask. I hope you liked the lecture and thank you for watching.